हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर नीरज एंड दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट एंजाइम्स देयर स्ट्रक्चर एंड देयर वेरियस प्रॉपर्टी और यू कैन से करेक्टरिस्टिक्स सो विदाउट एन डिले लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट आर एंजाइम्स सो एंजाइम्स आर द यू कैन से दे आर डिफाइंड एज बायोलॉजिकल पॉलीमर दैट कैटेलाइज द बायोकेमिकल रिएक्शन सो इन सिंपल वर्ड्स यू कैन से दैट एंजाइम्स आर द बायोमोलिक्यूल्स और द पोलीमर्स विच just catalyze the various reactions they can increase the rate of reaction without enzymes the reactions are very much slow but these enzymes they just increase the speed of reaction so that's why they catalyzed many reactions now let's discuss the structure of enzymes so the enzyme if you if you deal with the structure of enzymes so you will find that the enzymes they may be divided into two kinds like first is simple enzymes this is that enzyme which only have protein molecules which which is only formed of protein chain they do not have any other thing they just are formed of proteins so these are the simple enzymes like for example urease enzyme amylase enzyme pepain enzyme so these are example of simple enzyme but many enzymes they exist as or they are formed of a non protein part also so when the enzyme is formed of both protein part and non protein part so that is called as complex enzyme or holo enzyme so in this holo enzyme this protein part is called as apo enzyme while this non protein part is called as prosthetic group these prosthetic groups they are further of two types first is cofactor so when this non protein part it is a small inorganic molecular atom then it is called as cofactor and this cofactor it bind tightly with this apo enzyme the example of the molecule which can act as cofactor they include the metal ions like magnesium ion zinc ion etc this prosthetic group can also be coenzyme here if the prosthetic group or the non protein part is a large organic molecule so that is called as the coenzyme and this coenzyme they generally loosely bound to the apo enzyme the example of a coenzyme they include uh, vitamins and the compound these are derived from the vita means so now you can see that the cofactors are small inorganic molecule while the coenzymes are large organic molecule the binding between apo enzyme and the cofactor is tight or strong while the binding between coenzyme and apo enzyme is loose now let discuss the properties of enzymes or you can say the characteristics of enzymes so the first characteristics of enzyme is colloidal nature so as we know the enzymes are of giant size so due to their large size the enzyme they generally have very low rate of diffusion and they generally form the colloidal system in the water the second property is the chemical nature of enzymes so we know the majority of enzymes are proteins means they are made up of proteins but some enzymes they do not made up of protein like for example ribozymes ribozymes are the rna molecule that have ability to catalyze the special specific reactions but they are not made up of protein they are made up of the rna molecule so this is the chemical nature that majority of them are of proteins but some may are of some may are made up of rna also next the next property is catalytic nature so as we know the enzymes they have catalytic nature means they can catalyze the chemical reactions and generally the enzyme they do not have side product means they are very much specific for a particular reaction next property is the specificity of enzyme action so here we know that enzyme is very much specific for its substrate means a specific enzyme will only catalyze a specific reaction and this specificity is divided into many kinds on the basis like first lamp on the basis of the substrate molecule on the basis of the structurally related compounds on the basis of the optical isomers and on the basis of their geometrical isomers means the enzyme is specific on the basis of the substrate on the basis of its optical isomers or geometrical isomers so we can say the enzyme action is very much specific now 
द नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज डिक्रीज इन एनर्जी एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी ऑफ रिएक्शन सो द हाउ एनजाइम इट इंक्रीज द रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन सो इट जस्ट इंक्रीज द रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन बाय डिक्रीजिंग द एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी इज दैट एनर्जी विच इज रिक्वायर्ड बाय द सबस्टेट टू क्रॉस द एनर्जी बैरियर इन ऑर्डर टू कन्वर्ट इन टू प्रोडक्ट सो नाउ इन दिस डायग्राम यू कैन सी दैट हेयर दिस इज रिएक्टेंट और सबस्टेट and this amount of energy it required in order to convert it into this product so this is without enzyme and if you see this diagram with enzyme so now you can notice that now this activation energy limit has been lowered so this reactant or substrate can easily pass through this energy barrier and convert into product so in this way these enzymes they decrease the activation energy and ultimately increase the rate of reaction now the next property of enzymes is heat sensitivity means enzymes as we know enzymes are made up of proteins so they are heat sensitive means they are affected by the increase or decrease of temperature generally as the temperature increase the rate of reaction or enzyme action increases because as the temperature increase so the more number of substrate molecule they gain the sufficient energy to cross the energy barrier but if you increase the temperature more so there will be a sudden fall in the activity of enzyme due to denaturation of enzyme if you see in this temperature curve so you will notice that in this region this blue one so as the temperature is increasing now you can see the rate of reaction is also increasing but after some time when the temperature or the rate of reaction is maximum at this point where this laser point is is so at this point means the point where the maximum rate of reaction has been reached so that is known as this optimum temperature so this optimum temperature is that temperature at which rate of reaction is maximum but now if you further increase the temperature from this optimum temperature now there will be decrease in the activity why because proteins will denature if you see this portion of this curve so this one so now you will notice that as the temperature is increasing but now the rate of reaction is decreasing this is due to the denaturation of you can say these proteins or enzymes now the next property is ph sensitivity ph means the concentration of hydrogen ions it also affect the activity of enzymes because the catalytic process usually require the enzyme and substrate that have specific group in ionized or unionized state in order to perform the reaction or in order to interact so at alkaline ph this group is deprotonated and the rate of reaction may be declined so if you see this curve here you will again find that every enzyme has a specific ph at which the rate of reaction is maximum so that ph where the enzymatic reaction occur fastest or the rate ph at which the rate of reaction is maximum that ph is called as optimum ph any deviation from this optimum ph will decrease the rate of reaction as you can see this is the optimum temperature uh, sorry optimum ph point that is between 6 and 7 so at this ph rate of reaction is maximum but any deviation from this ph either ph less than optimum ph here or either more than this optimum ph so activity is decreasing as you can clearly see with this curve so we can say the ph also affect the activity of enzymes how ph affect the activity of enzyme because at extreme ph it can cause the denaturation of these enzymes because the structure of catalytic active protein molecule it depend on the ionic characteristics of amino acid side chain so that's why increase or extreme ph can also cause the denaturation now the next property of enzyme is reversibility of reaction means enzymes can also 
carry out the reaction in reverse direction so reversibility like for example a lipase enzyme so now you can see this uh, reaction in which this tripalmitin is converted into glycerol and palmitic acid but this lipase molecule as you can see this lipase molecule which is an enzyme it can convert this or you can say it can catalyze the synthesis of this fatty acid or synthesis of this fat molecule from the glycerol and fatty acid so in this way you can see this lipase is now catalyzing the reverse direction it is making this fat from glycerol and palmitic acid so we can say enzymes can also capable of bringing about a reversal in a chemical reaction or they are capable of carry out the reaction in reverse direction which is also one of the property of enzymes now the next property the enzymes that do not use up in reaction means uh, at the end of reactions the enzymes they are not utilized they will remain as it is and they will be available for next reaction like for example this is an enzyme molecule and this green triangle it represent the substrate and now as the substrate bind with enzyme as you can see in this diagram so this substrate will be converted into product this blue and magenta shapes they represent the product and as the product will be formed now the product will leave the active site of enzyme or you can say it just detached from the active site of enzyme now you can clearly see this enzyme is now available for another reaction it is not utilized in the reaction so we can say the enzyme they do not used up in reaction so this is one of the property of enzymes so these are all about the structure and the characteristics of enzyme so see you in the next video thank you very much